Keep it going for Dave Reinitz, guys. This is all he has. How are we doing, Burbank? Awesome. I know when you look up here, you're like, wow, Jose looks super tough. Like, he just win any fight. <laughs> Wrong. No. No, I'm not tough. You know what I do for a living? I'm a software developer. And I do digital reconnaissance. All right? So, like, you know, if you lose your password, I'll get it for you. If you want to know if someone's cheating on you, sir, you let me know. I'll get it for you. I'm not tough. And I live in a bad neighborhood. My neighbors are always blaring loud music. And I'd go over there and tell them to turn it down. But they're gangsta. And I'm not. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills that make me a nightmare with people with Wi-Fi. <laughs> so every time they blare their loud music, I hack into their network and I make their printer print penises. Because <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> no, it's a victimless crime, guys. It's not like it's a 3D printer. You know what I mean? It's not. <laughs> That'd be bad. And they're so loud, I can hear them talking about it. It's kind of awkward. The first time I did it, I print, like just like a hundred of them, uh, one of them walked in and he saw it and he's yelled at his roommate. He's like, hey, Steve! I think our printer's gay, yo. <laughs> what? Why is your printer a man? Why is it into men? Makes no sense to me. No, it's zero. And we did this so many times, they actually ran out of toner. Yeah. And I saw they got on Amazon and they ordered two ink cartridges, black and magenta, so I canceled that. And I ordered two toys, black and magenta. <laughs> And in the special instructions, I put put inside me, sign the printer. <laughs> and I used to wonder, like, what happened when they got there? Did they do it? Were they like, well, printer, it's 2016. If this is what you want, I guess. Uh, they're very progressive gangsters, these guys. But I got the answer because it turns out they were actually making meth. They were meth manufacturers. And they got raided by the DEA. So it was like an episode of Breaking Bad. All this equipment's coming out. The printer things sticking out. It was amazing. <laughs> and I used to wonder, what did they do with all the pictures I was printing, right? Well, I see one agent. He's got this huge clear plastic bag with shredded documents. And I realized those are the dicks, guys. <laughs> and the reason that's amazing for me is because I know it's someone's job down at the station to reassemble shredded documents. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know that guy was excited. He's like, finally, something for me to do. <laughs> After the first one, he's like, well, chief, it's a dick. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like that. I'm going to get to the bottom of the bag and hopefully we'll have evidence. That, no, it's just a bag of... Yeah, yeah. I hope he went home early that day. Yeah. I don't take life seriously uh, and it gets me in trouble. I used to go to community college, not to brag. I'm the first person in my family to go to community college, guys, so there is that. But no, 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 I'm not a hero. I'm not a hero. They all went to four universities. I'm not, I'm not breaking down barriers, guys. If anything, I'm actually building the barriers because uh, I took a... Sp I took a speech class and uh, I thought I would prank them. So on the first day I showed up with a huge donkey piñata and I was like, hello, I am Jose. I come from a long line of piñata makers. And you guys kind of giggled. They believed it. They were like, oh my God, that's a career. That's amazing. So they're like, how did you get to America? And I was like, I made enough piñatas to afford a donkey ride north. And they, yeah, right. And, and so before I could say like, no, I'm just kidding. I was born in Mexico, but I grew up in the States. Like I was in the army. Before I could say any of that, this guy stands up and he goes, hey man, I want you to know that like, I feel the struggle. I feel we all got a little piñata inside of us, man. Welcome to America. <laughs> and one by one, I get standing ovations from the students. Now I can't be like, just kidding. So for four months, I'm going to this class <laughs> with like super skinny jeans, the pointy snake boots, belt buckle, the sombrero. Yeah, I committed to the character, guys. Flannel. I have flannel for days. And uh, none of my friends believed I was doing this, so I started filming it with hidden cameras. And I think at the time I had four subscribers on YouTube, but by the end of the posting the video, I had 2.7 million views. The school wow. found out. Yeah, I had no, yeah. So I was like walking through campus. This is how I walk. And, uh, and the principal's like, Jose Barrientos? And I was like, yeah, what's going on? And he's like, cut the crap. They expelled me. They escorted me off campus in handcuffs. Aww. You'd have thought I brought a clock to school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I probably looked like I was getting deported, so I just started yelling. I was like, I just want to learn! I just want to learn! All right, guys, my name is Jose Barrientos. Thanks so much for having me.